Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to a new Maya video. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about user interface. So basically menus, tabs, where certain buttons are located and that kind of stuff, right? And the thing with Maya is um, you develop a certain preference over time. Uh, some things you use a lot, some things you don't as much. You want to move buttons around, that kind of thing. Well, the cool thing about Maya is depending on what you're working on, let's say you're rendering or you're modeling, there are a whole bunch of menus you can choose from that are already pretty much set up. So if you go up to the top right corner, it says workspace modeling standard right now. If you take the drop down menu, you have all sorts of options to choose from. Let's say I'm going to go animate, I click on animation, and then you see that my whole UI changes based on what you need when you're animating. So, you know, you got the whole uh, keyframing set up here and your working window and whatnot. Let's say I want to go back to, uh, I don't know, uh, modeling as a fairly beginner, or I want to go to modeling and I'm more of an expert. I would have more working space to work with. You get the idea, right? Now, the thing is, when you're doing something like this, you might run into a situation where you kind of mess up, right? Because you're moving stuff around, you did something wrong, and I'll give you an idea. So I'm going to hold down Control Shift, and I'm going to left click on that little line up there, and I'm going to grab that status line bar and drop it right there. And then down here, I'm going to do the same thing. Control Shift, so move that up here, and then I got another one down here. And I'm going to open up the attribute editor and it's over here. And, um, you know, I'm like, what is going on? Right. We'll take this guy. We'll move that around. So suddenly this is my workspace. I'm like, oh, my Lord. Right. How do I fix that? Well, it is super, super easy. You go up to the top right corner again. We're in the general workspace and you click on the little tab right there and you go to reset the current workspace and everything is back to normal, right? That's how easy that is. Now, let's say you want to manually change uh, some things, what you want to see or not. You go up to Windows, and under Windows, Workspaces, you can choose which one you want. You can turn it on, turn it off, etc. But you can also go to, uh, where is it? UI Elements, and you can choose to select or deselect the ones you uh, see, right? So let's say I don't want to see the time slider here. Uh, I'm not animating or anything like that. Let's turn that off. Let's go to, uh, I don't know, a range slider. don't want to see that either. And I might not even want to see uh, the helpline. So turn all of that off, get more working space. Everybody's happy, right? But again, if you want to go in here and you want to reset, you go to reset current, um, what's it called? Current workspaces. Yep. Yeah. And then if you go to windows and you go to UI elements, you can see they're all turned back on, right? So yeah, that's how that all works. Now let's say you customize something, uh, that is beyond the reach of this reset, right? And you kind of want to go back to default, uh, Maya out of the box, if you will. Well, in that case, what you need to do is you need to remove your preferences. And uh, when you do that, Maya will say, hey, there are no preferences. Do you want me to, you know, create this new setup as the standard? How you do that is you close down Maya. And then you go in and you look for this path. So on my PC, it is in my documents folder. There's a folder called Maya. There is a folder called Maya 2023, which is my version. And then you have a preferences folder with all of that stuff in here okay and it remembers certain things now what you do is you simply select this and I don't really want to delete mine right but you know I'll just uh, I think I'll rename it so I'll call this uh, preferences old for example okay now once I do that if I now start Maya again there you go Welcome to Maya, set up your preferences. It says that it doesn't have any, right? Okay, so hey, you know, use default. Great. And you already see up here that it has now created a new preferences folder because that's my old one, right? Let's give that a second to load up. And there you have it. Now, typically, for example, my background is kind of bluish, right? So uh, I think it was uh, control alt or something 
it's a long time so oh, there you go it's alt b so alt b will change that so in the new preference that are created it's gray as you can see and in my old one it was blue so there's the evidence that it actually changed right so yeah these are a couple of tips uh, if you get stuck with the user interface uh, hopefully it was helpful if you enjoyed the video you know what to do hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one right thanks for watching bye Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.